Hi. How's it going, stream watchers? How's it going, kobolds, dragons, and everything else that's also that also exists? How's it going? What up? Morning. Wings. Exactly. Alrighty. So, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I have a feeling there's only a couple of streams left, and by a couple I mean two, and there may be even less. Now I do need to fix up a couple of things I was thinking about. First of all, this wing needs to be in front of the tail. Um, and then I also need to add some squash and stretch to the previous few frames, uh, particularly to the shoulder. But then after that, well, dang. It's just a race to the end at this point. So I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all enjoying yourselves. Uh, let's go. Let's just fucking get there. Let's get to the end. Alrighty. So that's fixed that bit. 
this needs to be fixed as well. Really hard to see the yellow lines. Guess I could move a frame closer. A couple of frames closer, they'd be easy to see. Yup. some squish feels like this animation has been almost finished for like the last three streams I keep thinking it's gonna be almost finished for like yeah that's correct I've been uh, I've been um, underestimating how long it'll take to actually get there but I genuinely I'm almost there at this point now. There's a little bit of scope creep on this animation, if, I, if I'm going to be totally honest. Uh, I've kind of done more on it than I probably needed to. Um, but that's the way it is. No, I know I've done way more than I needed to, but I enjoy it. Also, welcome to the stream. Animation's hard, you get closer with every stroke, I joke, but you should definitely know that you've made progress. Oh, fuck yeah, I have. The last, I mean, that's the thing. The last couple of streams, I have made significant progress each stream, which is why I keep thinking it's going to be the last one. But then there just ends up being more. It is going to be a while until I do another animation, <laughs> I think. Scope creep with any sort of artistic endeavor? No way. <laughs> when good enough isn't good enough? Yeah. Welcome, distant medium. I haven't had you chat before. I hope you enjoy your time. How'd you find the stream? I love this emote. It's very cute. Thank you, Fennec, for subscribing with Prime. I really appreciate it. I hope you continue to enjoy uh, the streams. How did... Yeah, I, I don't know what, what's up with that, but like... Now that I'm like a decent way into my journey streaming, you do just kind of begin to do the stream voice thing. Where you're like, ha da da, ha da 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 da, da da da. And I've got to like actively stop myself from doing that. I think it's just because I've learned it from watching other people. I found you in the recommended browsing around looking for other art streamers. Hell yeah. Well, I'm Kynik. I've been drawing furry slash transformation art for the last six years now. Uh, I have many other uh, outlets. I make video games. I'm currently working on an animation commission. If you want to see what else I do, uh, the little window there that says find me at has my link tree and that links to everything that I'm in. And I'm most active uh, 
here, I guess. But then secondly, secondarily most active on uh, Twitch. Uh, on fuck, oh my god, I'm so good at speaking. On Twitter and Blue Sky is what I meant to say. Yeah, that'll do. I'm also going to fix this down here. Corpse of Twitter, yeah. I'm I refuse to call it by anything else than Twitter, but I also don't want to advertise it too heavily because I would rather be on Blue Sky. It's just that I have significantly more followers on Twitter than I do on Blue Sky. <laughs> Which is unfortunately just how it is. happened here? I noticed. Will this happen? Let me peep the work. Enjoy. Speaking of making games, I'm trying to get targeting working, but the more I add, the lazier and more disorganized my code is, so I think I should probably step back and make a plan. But... Yeah, I would recommend making a plan. Uh, I would highly recommend writing down a... Uh, every movement and action that you want to do, and then putting it all into a huge flowchart, and then making a list of all of the generic functions, making a list of like repeated actions that you can use multiple times, the general abstract uh, processes that you can repeat, and then starting from there. Uh, and I actually think that will help you be more lazy in the future, because then you won't have to think about it anymore. You'll do all of the thinking now, on paper, you won't have to code anything, then you can be lazy later. That's, uh, that's how I've always done it. Okay. Let's have a looky. This is what the animation looks like so far. Yeah, it looks good. I do need to do the first squish though. So this entire arm needs to be changed, basically. Oh, I see what's going on. It's a very good bit of advice and the council will take it into consideration. I wish the council the best of luck. Okay, yeah, let's just do this and see what it looks like. So confusing. Okay, there we go.
I played probably four hours of Satisfactory last night. Such a good game. I haven't played it in so long. I really missed it. And there's so many quality of life features now, like snapping on conveyor belts, 90 degree snapping. Um, and building order snapping. It's like, uh, like being able to snap buildings next to each other if you're building them in a line. It's so good. Now another reason why this could be the final stream of the animation is because I actually don't have work today. Uh, so I can actually go for a little bit longer than usual. Which means that I may be able to just get this done. The line art, not the colouring. <laughs> there is in fact colouring to do. But I have a feeling the colouring won't actually be that bad. Cool, the arm lost a bunch of volume. Love that. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah. That is tons better than it was yesterday. Okay. Let's do the whole thing. Yeah, nice. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> the clothing disappeared.
that can't be there. Yay, now I have to draw it a bunch of times. Cool. I'm just telling Tim Tim to wake up. It's supposed to be moderating. Give me one sec. Bad, not bad. Why do I have enough alarm that goes off at nine o'clock in the morning? That's so long after I get up. Thank you, Tim Tim. Happy. Barely. I'm kidding. I jest. I hope you had a good sleep. I've been having really good sleep since I uh, started jogging in the morning, but it has made it a lot harder to wake up because I sleep so much deeper than it used to. <laughs> it feels like when I sleep now I'm getting like pushed down into the bed. Uh, when I slept before I jogged, and you know, I'm, I'm saying this, this is like sponsored by fucking exercising. Um, helping me sleep like really good mid sleep that's a shame ah oh, that is not why can you throw that why can you do that okay Okay, this is what it looks like so far.
we have officially three frames left to draw a line art for. <laughs> for real. Okay. And they're not even that hard. They're just moving the wings. Francisco TTV had a message for me. Best viewers on fucking Redacted. Three frames remain. Bye bye, Francisco. Bye. Bye, Francisco. Okay. Just the wings. What happened to the die redeem? So, <clears throat> I switched over to my new PC, and um, I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I chose to reinstall everything from scratch because I wanted a fresh, like, clean experience. Uh, because I think I've been migrating my PC for, like, the last 10 years. Like, I haven't actually done, like, a full, proper, clean, like, install um in a decade so i wanted to do that which meant that i have i have to basically redo all my settings from scratch uh most of it is easy because i can just like copy it copy paste which is what i could do with obs but uh i forgot to copy paste sammy and i just have to get around to doing that and i'm pretty sure i can i just haven't done it yet and i started i didn't want to not stream so i just turned it off uh it will be back I wanted to die on behalf of Francisco, we hardly knew you. That's okay. I'm sure Francisco will live on in our hearts. In fact, I can actually do something myself. Uh, uh, what the heck? Oh my God. Okay. Wait, give me one sec. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. Don't worry about it. I don't know, don't remember the password to Sammy, so I'll do that later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I need to fix a bunch of stuff. The stream is new and shiny, but also is lacking features. Just like a, just like uh, the PlayStation 5 Pro. Kynic is like the PS5 Pro, but for free. Exactly. I'm all the disappointment of a PS5 Pro at zero the cost. I'm pr That's a pretty good deal.
Wow, another one. Holy moly. Oh, they're, they're coming back. They're coming back with a new uh, account. Francisco, the spirit of Francisco is haunting us after their untimely demise. It's okay. You can ascend to the next world now, Francisco. You don't have to be here anymore. Your unfulfilled desire of linking people to a spam website that will take their identity and or money has been fulfilled. Same link too? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's definitely the same person. Francisco was reborn. And then again. I mean, the brightest lights last the shortest. And they... Francisco, the, there was none like them. They were the brightest light. They guided us all. They guided us to losing our identity and money. But they did guide. I feel bad, there was someone on the stream earlier who like found me through recommended and then the last thing they said was like I'll go and see your work. So I'm assuming that they went and looked at my work and were freaked out by all of the weird shit that I make. <laughs> and are now gone. But that's okay. I lost my home, my job, and my kids because of Francisco. <laughs> Worth it. Hello, how many more streams to go on this? One, maybe two. This could be the last one. Not sure yet. I apologize if you're unhappy <laughs> with the amount of streams that I've done on this, but I would like to get it done. Vasco was here and now he's not? Not even a real friend? No. I, I agree. Not even a real friend. I can't believe this. Oh, okay. oh, 
Two frames to go. At any time we can change what he's drawing, just say the word. Oh my god. Let's do a corner. There's two frames left. Two frames. Free PS5 Pro, if I wanted to pay almost $1,000 to run Rebirth at decent FPS image quality, I'd rather spend it on a graphics card for my PC. I think most people would agree, yeah. <laughs> I, it's insane. The amount of money you spend on a PS5 Pro, you could even build an entirely new PC that's relatively mid-quality that would play way more than the PlayStation 5. Okay, you can't play Astrobot and Demon Souls. That's it. Everything else is on PC. The Last of Us 2 at 4K60 with better signage. Yeah, dude. I can't wait to completely skip the PlayStation 5 Pro. I mean, I wasn't going to buy it anyway. I'm not the sort of consumer to buy the Pro version of anything. I never bought the PlayStation 4 Pro, I just waited for the PS5, and I will do the same here. I will wait for the PlayStation 6, and that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll get the launch version of the, P the PS6, uh, which will probably actually have features and not bullshit. And then I'll wait until the PlayStation 7, because... The people who say cloud gaming is the future are wrong, in my opinion, and that's never gonna happen. There will always be a market for downloadable slash physical games and dedicated consoles, like a hundred percent. Since most people who are even considering the Pro already have a base PS5, so it's really like $1,200 total just to run maybe one or two games slightly faster. Exactly. Plus you just wasted the $900 you spent on the PS5 in the first place. <laughs> I'm talking Australian here. Um, I don't know how much the PlayStation 5 base is uh, in other countries. But for me, I paid 900 bucks for my PlayStation 5, which, to be honest, was not worth it. But anyway, I thought it would have actual games on it at the time. About two thirds that, that yeah, like 600 bucks. The 750 at launch, absolutely worth it for speed. I love my PS5. I love it as a home, like, entertainment. Con like, it's my, um, it's my entertainment center, basically. Like, I use it instead of, like, a TV hard drive. Um, although I don't even watch TV, so. There's that, too. You, you know, play games on it, watch YouTube on it. Put Spotify on it with like fucking piano music when people are over. Easy. Put uh, hour long, like five hour long baking compilations, Korean baking compilations from Foodie Boy when my friends are over and we just like kind of sit there and zone out while watching the Korean people bake food. One of the best things ever. I love the PlayStation 5 for that. I just wish it was better backwards compat. If the Pro had more PS2 and PS3 games supported natively, I would buy it instantly. 
That's never going to happen. Well, it might happen one day, but I don't think it's going to happen this generation. What I'd really like to buy one day is like a launch PS3. I love the idea of having a PS3 only to play PS2 games. Because that's all I want to play. I do have a PS2. Um, but it's a bit fucked for some reason. It like doesn't work properly. <laughs> You have one of those? So good. Yeah, I'm jealous. I have a PS3 Slim. Like, the not the ultra slim one, just the, like, normal slim one. Which is fine, and it works, but I'd really like a launch PS3. I don't know if it's still at my parents' house. Who knows, maybe they threw it away. I don't know if your parents are the kind of people to throw your stuff away. Um, thankfully mine are not, but I know some peoples who are. There is still an, uh, an Xbox 360 sitting up in a cupboard in my old room at my parents' house. Um, but it was even more fucked than my PS2, because it's a launch Xbox 360, uh, and it is hanging on by a thread. I'm surprised it hasn't red ringed. My dad most likely stole it to play Oblivion. <laughs> oh my god. He's played so long that his save is corrupted twice. That's really funny. I should have left the PS3 at my dad's house, at my mum and dad's house, because, like, my dad got, like, when, when he had cancer in 2015, he got absolutely addicted to Just Cause 2. Uh, and literally 100%ed the game, like, twice. I, I don't know. He, like, had... He'd only ever played shit like Age of Empires and Age of Mythology before then, and then all of a sudden, I show him Age of Empires on the P uh, uh, I show him Just Cause 2 on the PS3, and he went fucking ape shit for it. He loved Just Cause 2. He fucking loved it. Um, and I'm, I'm sure if I leave the PS3 at my parents' house, I'll probably still fucking play it. But, um, I don't know. I took it with me, even though I don't touch it. I do want to get, um, an Xbox One X so that I can play Skate 3. Uh, but other than that, I never want to go and grab the Xbox. <laughs> It'll just take up space. Although a launch Xbox one, a launch Xbox one would also be really cute. I I kind of love how disgustingly bulky it is, and how many ports are on it. My dad seems to jive well with Bethesda RPGs, but he's not really taken to Fallout 4 and Starfield as much as he has Oblivion and New Vegas. They're very different experiences for sure. Like post Fallout 4, is a very different Bethesda to like, up until New Vegas. So I completely understand why he wouldn't have taken the Fallout 4 in Starfield. Also, Starfield's... Uh, I I tried to like Starfield, man. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get back into it now that I have a PC that can run it properly, but I don't know, man. You tried to? I, when Starfield hits, it hits really good. Because it's that classic Bethesda gameplay loop of go to a place and loot everything, which I love, but it's just that. People have kind of scared you off it. I mean, you should give it a go. Like, it's classic Bethesda in every way possible, but it's also nothing revolutionary like they keep saying it is. I think people are just disappointed <laughs> and they're like airing their grievances. Um, it's just kind of mid. 
but I think you should, you know, if you like that Bethesda gameplay loop and want another fix of it, you'll definitely get that from Starfield. If only for a short time before you realize there's nothing else to do in the game. There's elements to like, there's elements to like, but they're done better in other games. Yeah. I'll be visiting my parents for Christmas, so I might try out my dad's copy. He might be later into the game, and that might be actually more interesting to play. Because I only played through the first 10 hours, and apparently it doesn't get good until like 20 hours in, which is insane, but anyway. So if your dad's like further into the game, maybe it'll be more interesting. Which is kind of why I want to give it another try as well, because from what I know, it does get like, it does get more interesting much further into the game. But you have to like really hold out. Um, there was one review where I, I, I don't remember who it was. It might have actually just been IGN, where they were like, the tutorial basically doesn't end until you're like 20 hours in, which does not feel good. So, <laughs> yeah. But I've been playing Stalker Clear Sky on maximum difficulty, so there's nothing that I won't try uh, to, to hurt myself with, apparently. Don't play Stalker Clear Sky at all, by the way. Just skip it. If you're playing through the Stalker franchise, just play Shadow of Chernobyl and then skip straight to Call of Pripyat. Clear Sky is not good. It is not good. I rarely... I would rarely recommend completely skipping a game. I mean, unless you want the cultural context, and you're interested in finding out why Call of Pripyat, why Clear Sky is so bad. Um, which I could talk about if people are interested. The reason I'm playing it is because I'm in a, a game book club and we're playing through all of the Stalker games. And after we play through Stalker 2, I, I'm kind of going to ask if we can play through all the Metro games because they're made by like people that came from the Stalker franchise. From GSC Game World. Um, so I'm only playing it for that reason. Uh, and I'm enjoying it because I know that I'll get to talk about it with the people that I'm playing it alongside uh, when I get back into the next call with them. But if I was trying to self-motivate to play it, oh, it would be difficult. It would be difficult. Just realized I accidentally forgot to draw the other wing tip.
also if you play Starfield, I highly recommend playing the class where you have like a fan that follows you around. It's the funniest shit. There's just a weird guy who every now and then will come up to you and be like, uh, hi, um, uh, bye. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing and it's so good. Have you not played Oblivion? No. I've played Morrowind. I've played Fallout 3, Fallout 4, and I've played a bit of Starfield. I haven't played Skyfield... Skyfield? I haven't played Skyrim or Oblivion. Right, okay. Anyway, it's really funny. Um, if Oblivion has that too, awesome. It's the same VA? Oh, that's awesome. Oblivion makes you earn it, it's done in a much better way. So it's not like just a class selection thing. You gotta become famous? Yeah, that makes more sense. I ended up choosing to be a a famous space trucker influencer in my starfield playthrough oblivion's guilds are top tier still not gonna play oblivion i i don't i'm not interested enjoy carrier i'm oh i'm gonna head out to get some food and delete my hacky code now good luck finishing them dude thanks for hanging out have good food. Enjoy. And good luck on the game. Honestly, the only reason I'm redrawing this thumb is to give it a little bit more life because it looked really stagnant before. Well, I'll make you play it, damn it. There's one mission that is so cool, all worth it. If I do these streams long enough, I'll probably end up doing Oblivion someday. It's fine. Who just messaged me on fucking Telegram? It was Kyrio. Another ant game. Oh, this looks cool. Okay.
Okay, here's the truth. I haven't actually played Morrowind. I was just watching somebody else play it for their entire playthrough and commenting on it while they streamed it to me on Discord. But I think that counts. Okay. Yeah, that's better. My G OMG are fake. Yeah, I'm a fake. Fake fan didn't feel the jank. I fucking felt it. I felt it, man. So when are you watching me play Oblivion then? Um, I don't know. It would be kind of fun if you did a series of streams where I watched you the whole time. It's like veteran oblivion player oh you know it'd be fun a series of streams where i played oblivion but you were there in vc watching the entire time and either helping or getting really angry at the mistakes that i make i think that'd be a like a fun stream um i i think that would be enjoyable you would love that yeah i think that'd be fun Um, it's like Oblivion for the Oblivious would be a good stream title. That would be the series name. Write that down. <laughs> yeah, um... And then I'll pin it. There, it's pinned to our Telegram chat. Okay. Perfect. Now no one's allowed to steal that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now. I have something that I need to do. Can I move an entire line? An entire track? Wait, I need a... Nope. Oh. Oh! I can do that. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, I'll do the bass drop. Oh, the, not even a bass drop there. Okay. This is what the animation looks like so far. Yeah. We now have one frame left. <laughs> well done. We now are on the final frame of the line art for the animation. So you know what that means? We're doing Reach for the Summit. Hey, we have one frame left. We're going to be doing it. We're going to be doing it right now. We're going to be duplicating it, and we're going to be listening to Reach for the Summit while we do it. 
Let's see if we can get it done in time. We ready, everybody? Here we go. The last frame, the last line art frame of the animation. That's not what I meant, Tim Tam. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you all for joining me for this entire animation journey. It's been, uh, it's been a lot, I know. Uh, there have been many, many times where I thought I would be finishing it sooner than I actually had. Uh, but, you know, that's the way it goes. I do have the coloring to do after this, but man, that's not going to take me that long. I feel like the line art was the most interesting and important part. And now it's almost over. It is not take. It's not going to take me years. I'm. I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it. It is almost done. Grub is also here. Thank you. Thank you very much. One more wing. One more little little wing bit. I've been imagining this day for, for months. <laughs> Thank you, Mishka. Uh, and I also found... Oh, yay. Would you mind giving her a wipe? Could you still give her a wipe, please? No. For 65 years, he's been imagining this day. It has finally come. The day that he will be finishing the line art for the animation. You know what's good too? It's taken me so long that they've added video support to Blue Sky. <laughs> Which is awesome and means that I will be able to upload this to Blue Sky when it's done. I'm also excited to get back into doing normal commissions again. I'll be doing them in Clip Studio Paint from now on. Uh, I'm no longer subscribed to Adobe's bullshit. Uh, it's taken me a long time to reconcile the fact that my workflow will be a lot different and I will start off slow. But I think after doing this animation I feel confident that being slow is, is, is okay. It's okay to be slow and people will still be interested in watching. Um, yeah, I may take a little while to, to get back up to speed in Clip Studio because it will be a little bit harrowing <laughs> to try and figure it all out again. Especially the keyboard shortcuts because I had them nailed down. Thanks in general. I, I think I've been streaming for about a year now. A little over a year. And man, didn't expect people to be interested for this long. It's It's been amazing. And I'm hoping to continue for a lot longer. I know I'm not the, the most talkative person a lot of the time. I'm trying to get better at that. Uh, and also, I'm not good at playing the, like, 
social media game you've got to play to like quote unquote grow your audience, but I'm not really interested in doing that, even though it would be nice to have more people watching and more people to interact with. Um, because it's just fun. Uh, it's, it's just nice that people are willing to watch anyway. Halfway through the song. Yes, Tim Tim. Even if you're the only one chatting. It's okay. Thanks for being here. It's wild that you wanted to be modded, or that you were interested in being modded in the first place. I hope it's interesting. There are others here too. Maybe. I think so. I always get worried that the 10 viewers are just like bots. I don't even know how to like check if there's like I don't, it doesn't give you a list of names like Picardo does. It's just like there's a number. Been lacking as well. You're bad. It does give you a list of names. Where? You click on the community tab. Yeah, but it just says viewers and it says four people. And one of them is Vasco, who I know isn't here. It says some active viewers and chatters in the community. Oh. Three quarters of the way through. You've sent me a thing, I'll check it after. I see more than four. In the community tab? Dude, where are you guys seeing this? Oh my god. Is this a new tab I haven't discovered? Anyway, we'll get to that in a sec. Check telly? I will. Button for me on the very right. Hmm. Focus. Let's hunker down. Let me cook. Come Skrillex's synths.
We're done. Oh, nice. Thanks. Thanks, Spotify. Congrats. I gotta count how many drawings this ended up being. Oh yeah, and there's my signature. Oh boy, that took a while. Yes, Lapis, it did. It did. I do have to color it. <laughs> But that'll be a copy-paste job. I don't want Discord right now. Uh, give me... This. Okay! So this is what the animation looks like. I can finally turn this layer off. Uh... Oh, actually... Can I turn an entire layer off? Wait, that's actually fine. Hide all. Yes. I can't hide all. Alrighty. So it looks like it's all clean. Why not? Seconds. Thirty four seconds. It's a clean twenty streams as well. Nice. Twenty streams. <laughs> Woo. It's been a while. pretty freaking happy with this animation. This is one of my favorite things I've ever done. Uh, oh, holy moly. Very happy to be putting my name on this. Should be? Thank you. An incredible addition to your portfolio. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like, some parts could be better. The volumes are inconsistent here and there. The anatomy, you know, isn't the best I've ever done. Uh, there are places where it skips around a bit, like at the beginning there. But overall, not bad at all. Especially considering the amount of fucking detail in each frame. Like, I wanted it to be JoJo's Bizarre Adventure levels of detail for each frame. And I'm pretty sure I got that. Um, but dang. Dang, dang, dang. Let's celebrate. Oh, I don't even know how. A pause for pause. Oh boy. 
Okay. I can do a pause for pause. Give me one second though. I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna have some water. Just to torture me? Nah, I love drawing pause. Uh I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna just back it all up. <laughs> Export it, save it. Go have some water. Everyone take a break for a minute. I'll be back to draw a paw. Thanks. Thank you, everybody.
Uh, welcome to me drawing a pour and then leaving. <laughs> uh, Procreate Dreams has been closed. Everything's been saved and backed up. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Quick, late man. I don't have work today. It's all good. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, Lamau. Yeah, it's all good. Keep going another five hours, chat. I'm good. I do have stuff that I have to do today. I, I did take the day off for a reason. Because I have IRL commitments to attend. Before you leave, figure out the community's tab thing. Oh, true, yeah. Uh, let's have a look at that, actually. Yeah, okay. I'm going to send you a screenshot of what I see in the community tab. So apparently the community tab is not showing me anything. I see four people, one of them is stream elements. One of them's Vasco, who isn't here right now. Did I refresh on the top right? Oh. No, I didn't. I have to fucking refresh it manually? Wait. That's so cringe! I didn't know that. Okay, I've refreshed. And it actually does show the right amount of viewers now. Wow, okay. You open and close it, it refreshes. God damn it. I didn't know that. Okay, well. You're cringe! Thank you. Thank you, Fen. I appreciate it. Yeah, damn. Five meter moo, Barke Yunu, Fen Sandwich, Glitchy 4 8, Lapis Foxy on Paco Fennec, and of course, on Puko. Fennec, and of course stream elements. My favorite, most consistent viewer stream elements. <laughs> I think stream elements has watched every single stream. Although they better watch every stream considering they're a fucking robot. Thanks for following, Fen. I'm glad you enjoy the streams. Thought I was already subbed. Are you subscribed as well? Followed? Hell yeah. Following. I had a dream I was in like a new house. I was, I was living in an apartment and I thought it was small, but then in the back room of the apartment, there was a little tiny slide that led down into like a, a back liminal space area with like 50 bunk beds and a bunch of kids play equipment. It was very bizarre. 
Sorry, I just that came up in my brain right now for some reason. I'm never on Twitch, so I just use the YouTube term. Yeah, that's all good. That's such a classic dream. Yeah, I know, right? Always so weird. I like it. I think it's fun. And it had like the fake sky as well, like the painted on sky. It was so weird. I think it's just because I've been. I I saw some I saw like some backrooms fucking Reddit post before I went to bed. That's probably why. Make sense. There you go, Tim Tam. Here's your paw. For pause for pause. I hope you like it. It's beautiful. Thank you. Love the shading. Thank you, thank you. Four, five, six. Let's go. Five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37. This is poor 38. I wonder if we'll get to 40 by the end of the year, probably. I wonder if we we'll get to 50 by the end of the year. <sighs> That's that. Thanks for watching, folks. Animation's done. Uh, well, the line art is. Uh, you'll see it soon when the coloring is done. I'll probably do that off stream in my some spare time, just kind of vibing, just because I want to focus and get it done. But yeah, that's that. Oh. It, I guess it wasn't the penultimate animation stream. It was the ultimate animation stream. Fair fair, it'll be great. Thank you. Is yours next? Uh, no. Tim Tams is next. It's Tim. It's Tim Tams, and then Neverborns, and then yours, Lapis. So there we go. Thanks everybody. Um. Oh, and thanks Kane the Cat and Little Fiend on Picato for watching. But Tim Tim, yes, yours is next. Thank you, you're very welcome. Let's raid on Puko. Because he just started streaming himself. He's playing Voices of the Void. It's a fun game. You should watch him play it. Enjoy it. I'll see you uh, Monday. See you in like three days. Bye.